Hello everyone, Steve Rail with West Central Distribution. Uh, if you recall, I talked with you a little bit um, in a previous video about the importance of starter fertilizer on corn, especially when corn is transitioning from its seed reserves over to trying to fully manufacture its photosynthetic capacity around V4. That's a really important time to make sure that your corn has all of the adequate nutrients to make that transition rather quickly so that it can start to take advantage of the longer days as we go into June. Well, I'm standing in front of a sugar beet field today and I wanted to also indicate that starter fertilizers can have significant impact on other crops as well. Um, the agriculturist uh, with this particular sugar beet field said that it was planted early. This is talking about early to mid-April means that as I stand here in early June, we're in two months into this and we can still see some pretty significant growth differences, although I was told by the same agriculturist that these uh, growth differences were even more pronounced maybe a week to two to three weeks ago. Uh, with sugar beet, I think it's so important to remember, just like a lot of other crops, you need to have that phosphorus early. That's the source of energy that gives that crop the opportunity to start to crit out its leaves, especially after it exhausts its seed reserves. But in sugar beet, there's one other important aspect that I think I want to cover today, and that is that sugar beet, like a lot of other crops, need nitrogen early along with the phosphorus to get that good early start. But in sugar beet production, it's well known that you want to run out of nitrogen late in the season. Because of this, some of the folks that have come into their sugar beet crop with a lot of nitrogen reserves in their soil do not like to utilize a lot of phosphorus-based granular broadcast fertilizers because along with it, in many cases, comes some nitrogen that might put them in excess of the nitrogen quotas that they need to make sure they run out at the end of the year. Therefore, starter fertilizers can be a very important uh, source of some small amounts of nitrogen to get the plant up, plus that phosphorus that's very important. I'm gonna give you an opportunity to take a look at what I'm talking about on this particular field. The first eight rows here are non-starter. The grower was coming back to finish out the field, and I think you can start to see the differences as I pan up. I think you can still see the eight rows and the diff general differences in the height of the plant. Obviously with sugar beet, when we're trying to grow sugar, Getting a full canopy as close to the longest day of the year on June 21st is pretty darn important. So when we can give these plants this early opportunity for early growth, that's going to result in more photosynthetic capacity to better off serve to create sugar, which is what the growers in this particular case with this commodity are after. Well, that's it for today. We'll talk to you again. This is Steve Rail with West Central Distribution.